so this, this whole thing that we're doing, basically everything that I'm teaching, all included, is 49 bucks. I mentioned that earlier, right? $49. Um, if you have the book already, 29 If you're a guest from the outside in, that would be you're not a gym member, you're not a Health Sprout member or a patient, then it's $99. Or if you have the book, it's $79. So there's a significant difference there. Why? Well, because I think it's worth more than 99 but we want to give to those who are part of our group. So if you're in the garage, you're in Town Lake, you're in Bridge Mill, Silos, Health Sprout, any of those five locations, then it's 49 or 29 And if you're not at any of those, then it's 99 70 Okay, that's basic price. What does that give you? Every workshop we do. So workshops, which are going to be um, eight primary workshops total, that each of those will be taught at least twice. And some, like this one, four times. Why? So that if your schedule gets crazy, then you can still make it. A lot of them will be recorded, like this one, so that if you're in it, you'll be able to see it that way. So if you say, well, I'd rather go see yours, and I can't make it to yours, I don't want to see Aubrey's class, or, or I want to see Aubrey's class, I don't want to see yours, because you yelled too much, because I did yell a lot, didn't I? So, so if that's the case, then um, no big deal. We'll be able to get you, oh, that's the schedule, okay, I'll get into that schedule there. That's what I'm gonna do. Cool? Hey, there she is right there. She walked in, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. All right, um, movie nights. So there'll be different movies showing at different locations over the car course of this whole thing. You can go to all of them. Like, oh, I wanna see, um, I wanna see Food Inc. I wanna see Food Matters. I wanna see um, Fat, Sick, and ne Nearly Dead. Right, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, I wanna see these movies, okay? The schedule, it's all being filled in on the healthsprout.com slash 60 hyphen day hyphen challenge page. Like that? You got the hyphen set? Um, so if you want to, you can go there and you see the schedule. Like, oh, there's a movie that I'm going to pencil in. I want to see that movie. So why would you go see a movie? Because it's cool to see a movie that's going to educate you with other people who are on the same path. That's the best thing about this. So we've got like 17, 18 people that were here to start. I think two of them left because they got scared by what I said. Um, in two nights, three nights, we're going to have it again over in silos. We're probably going to have 15 people there. I expect another 15 people to show up at Health Sprout next week, and another 15 to show up at Bridgman. So you know, over the course of this thing here, we might have about 100 people-ish or 80 people who are doing this. So all of a sudden, you know, you get 40 people show up at a movie night, and you're all on the same path, and you're all having the same issues. You start talking. Guess what? It just got easier. It just got easier. So nutrition, obviously, is a topic. Oh, shopping excursions. Yeah, well, it all says it down here. Um, so the shopping excursions, we'll do Trader Joe's, we'll do um, Whole Foods, we'll do um, Kroger, which is in the organic section. You can sense what that is good and bad, you know, what's good and bad about that. And then I plan on also doing the National Food Warehouse over in Crab Apple as well. That's kind of a unique little place too. So we got four different places. Uh, probably do a lot of those on Saturdays. Just say, hey, here's a Saturday, you know, middle of the day kind of thing. So that way, you'll be able to hopefully rearrange your schedule and get there. But we'll, um, all these will be scheduled pretty soon. Over the next week, we'll get them all scheduled in so you can start planning. So what do we do on a, on a shopping excursion? We walk around as a mob, and we pull stuff off the shelves, and we say positive and negative things about it. Do they mind? No. Trader Joe's, they know I say negative stuff. They don't care, because guess what everyone still has? A shopping bag full of stuff when they walk out. And they know that, so they're good. Mobility, I already mentioned that. Cooking, we're gonna have several recipe nights, maybe even recipe days, who knows. Um, in a recipe night, my goal is gonna be to bring something that I think that you wouldn't do without me showing you. So I'll bring a spiral slicer out and I'll turn uh, zucchini to spaghetti. I'll, um, I'll bring a Vitamix out and you say, well I don't have a Vitamix and it's 600 bucks. Ugh. But I'll still show you, hey, these are some of the things I can do with a Vitamix that make, might make you say, Oh yeah, I'm getting Vitamix. That's how I'm starting to set money aside for Vitamix Day. Because there are some amazing things you can do if you have that you know, lawnmower on your kitchen cap. Um, it is, it, it, can, it can mow grass. Um, so, so that's what we're gonna do, fun stuff, different stuff, weird stuff, stuff that you say, wow, I've never thought to do that. That's what we'll do recipe night. Um, those are add-ons though. So cooking, um, for those it's seven bucks per because you're gonna eat. Um, you know, seven bucks, doesn't buy you a lot of food, so it's not necessarily a full meal. So I've told people before, like, hey, if you really want to eat, eat, you want to check this out, pay twice, and we'll serve you twice. So 
That way you know you'll get a good meal. Um, all right, shopping education, that's the shopping excursion. They kind of duplicated that. All, so right now, tonight, only here, in three nights, it's in Milton at um, Crossing Silos. Next week, Monday, I believe, this exact same workshop at Bridge Mill at your home gym. Um, and then Wednesday, back at Health Sprout. Yeah, everything up to a certain point. But we're trying to fill it all in now so we can have the whole thing done. But yeah, that way you'll be able to say, okay, well then, uh, yeah, next time I'm going here. Especially, you know, Bridge Mill, it's air conditioning. <laughs> so, but in Health Sprout, air conditioning as well, right? So this one here, nice big space. Easy to get people, you know, open and comfortable. Wasn't sure how many people. We could have easily had all of you at Health Sprout. It would have been, you know, comfortable. Fine. Oh, well, sweating. You're detoxifying. All right. These are the additions. So, honestly, the best way to do this thing is to come to it and say, okay, I'm going to commit some dollars and I'm going to do this stuff. You know, there's something I tell people all the time. You should spend more money on your health than anything else out there in the world. You really should. It's definitely, in my life, it's more on my health than it's anything else. My house? No, my health is more. There's more money going towards my health than there is my house. And that's how it should be. Your house, you'll, you'll never care about it when your health fails. I've had three patients offer to give me their homes if I could help them. That's desperation at a point that is too late. So you really should say, okay, yeah, I'm finding ways to commit to my health. So stuff that be worth you doing along the way here, the dump truck. It's the best way to test your body fat, see where you are, and see change in muscle mass over the course of this thing. This is what we say, I'm just gonna look at the scale. So I had a guy today, I was over across the town link, I worked out at the 1230 class, and I said, hey, so how's this all going for you, man? You've been here for a few months now, right? And he's, uh, I don't know how old he is, probably in his uh, mid-50s. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's been great. He's like, well, I've lost 15 pounds, but I've lost three pant sizes and a chin. Like, that's sweet. So what do you classify your chin as? Like, I call this one a double. Well, I was at a triple for sure. <laughs> like, well, that's cool. And you see that difference in your shirts already? It's kind of, I'm kind of asking, like, absolutely. Like, yeah, you keep going, you'll have like your, you know, have to put the button, three buttons over. Collar will look crazy. So, uh, but it was cool. 15 pounds is all he's lost. But he's changed three pant sizes. Like, yeah, you know what that is? And he's like, oh yeah, I know what that is. I've increased my back squat and my deadlift significantly. Meaning I can move more weight. I've got muscle mass in me. Stuff that's functional that makes me work. You know why muscle's so cool? Your muscle is always working. It never stops. So when I go to sleep tonight, every part of me that's muscle is metabolically working. Even though I'm sleeping, it's still burning up calories. It's still generating you know, heat and energy. It's, it's doing this work all the time. So I tell people, it's kind of unfair when someone gets to that place of fit and muscle because now they really could just eat like garbage all the time and it won't change. They're just gonna look the same. But it will change the internal environment and their health. But they can think, oh yeah, I'm great, I'm healthy. But so for those who say, well I really battle this and I battle that, moving towards muscle will help you with those battles. It will. So, the dump truck, what is it? You go into a, uh, a tank, a truck pulls up, you go into a tank, um, and you hold yourself underwater for a few seconds. And they figure out exactly what percentage body fat you are based on displacement of water and your weight. So it's pretty cool, it's kind of a neat thing. So it's hydrostatic weighing is what it's called. It's the only way to know your body fat composition for sure, to have it done. It's that. You get two dunks or 85 bucks, start, finish. We're gonna ask every single person who does this to sign up and uh, who signs up to give us a weight, to tell us, private thing, we won't publish it, it's just for us. We're gonna ask you to give us pictures too. You don't have to, that's up to you, but we know everyone, everyone wants the before picture afterwards. That was great advice from Marie and Rob. And it's true though, they always do. Like I wish I had taken a before picture. I wish I would take it. I had a guy uh, about three years ago. He didn't have a before picture, but he came in one day in his, his old pants. 
He had them pulled out to here. That's how far they were out. It was ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's take a picture of that. Um, so, you know, we, we wanted you to do that. But we really, we, we see all those things and we really care about, hey, if the scale is not moving, what else is? What's happening to body fat? BIA analysis. That's the cheap man's test for body fat, but it gives you a lot of other cool stuff. So body fat test on that is not going to be as accurate as a dump uh, truck at all. But it's going to have some accuracy to it. What it also gives me are these other measures, which I think are there. Did I write them in on that thing there? Yeah. So you're like, what is that? Phase angle. That's how healthy your cells are. Capacitance. That's how healthy your cell membranes are. Fluid distribution. It tells me what percentage of water in your body is in your cells versus out of your cells, which means how much inflammation do I have versus hydration. So if you want to know your inflammation numbers, you do a BIA test. And I have a workshop for you. You'll get the whole thing. It's awesome. It's cool. You'll be like, wow, I can't believe how much I just learned there. That's a vomit of information, that one. It is good. But it all makes sense. Swear of Eve, I really think, okay, so if you're saying, well, I can't do all of these, I'd put Swear of Eve first. I would. I'd say to take yourself three days of nothing but liquids to clean and, and heal your gut and clean out your cells, that's a starting point that you can't get. I mean, that's the starting point you want. You want that starting point. So that's key for sure. Yeah, we, we have a middle of the week time that's kind of get carved out. We have it for, do you remember the, ah, if you go to the Health Sprout website, I, I, you don't remember the date, do you? The first week of October, maybe? Maybe the first week of October. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, yeah, basically it's that 30th, September, so probably October 1st-ish or something in there, I'm guessing, is when we say that's, that's when we want to start. So we'll have an order date, we have kind of an order date deadline to make sure we get everyone, we want everyone on it together. Because that way there's a whole bunch of mad people all at one time, and then you're all over it. Day one is awful, day two is okay, day three you're like, wow, I could do this the rest of my life, except by the end of day three you can't think anymore, and then you realize, oh no, I, I I can't do this anymore. I can't. What's my name? Oh no. Where's the food? I don't even know where to find food. Oh, it's in the fridge. Okay. I mean, it's like your brain just doesn't work. I, I, I did that where I finished uh, a fourth day. I went an extra day. Finished the fourth day on a night where I do what's called the doctor's report in my office where I go through x rays of people. And um, I kind of closed it up, you know, about an hour of talking. And I closed it up and I turned to Lori and said, Wow, none of them are ever coming back again. And I was wrong, some did, but man, it was, I, I felt like I just, the words were just all wrong. So that will happen. So, but that's okay. The toxic metal testing, probably reserved for those of you who have concerns that way. I feel like I'm toxic. I feel like maybe there's something that's been holding inflammation. I feel like there's something just going on that's just not right. I've been exposed to aluminum at high levels. I love rubbing antiperspirants under my arms all the time. And that's, that's enough for me to say, yeah, you probably have issues. I haven't used an antiperspirant in a dozen years now. Won't ever touch one again. Um, you know, I eat all my food out of an aluminum pan. I drink lots of aluminum canned drinks. I wrap everything in aluminum foil and then you know, take it right from there and eat it. You know, stuff like that. Like, yeah, you have an aluminum issue. I've got more amalgam in my mouth than any of you've ever met in your life. You have a mercury issue. And in Detox Workshop, I'm gonna show you a video that's gonna make you wanna cry if you have that in your mouth. And so you'll want to do something about it. Um, if you had tons, which so many people have, of conventionally raised chicken. It's the one thing we just, we just try to stay away from conventionally raised chicken. You will have arsenic in your body, high levels. Arsenic is in the feed for chicken. It's been added there by a drug produced by Merck and Pfizer it's an all feed by every conventionally raised chicken in this country. Bar none. Even your precious chick filet. Mm. So, recipe nights, seven bucks. I, and 20 bucks for guests. What that means is, on those nights, so if you're not in this challenge, uh, or, if, or if you are, so you're all doing it, and then you're like, you know what, I want to bring my, my, my husband to this recipe night. It's 20 bucks for them. Okay? Because seven bucks is us like hoping to God we don't just lose a bunch of money to feed you guys food. It's I mean, really, it is. Because what am I going to be using? Almond flour? 
and I mean coconut flour, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So you know, that's so if you want to bring a guest, sure, but it's 20 bucks if they're outside of this thing. CrossFit punch card, 49 bucks, I'll explain that. Chiropractic, 49 bucks for five adjustments. Um, initial exam and not x-rays actually. It's supposed to say initial exam. <laughs> Is included. So if you are someone in this and you're like, I want to try the chiropractic thing out, it'd be 25 bucks for x-rays. That's all we do for that. So yeah, come on in. And you'll learn more about that along the way. You might say, you know, that makes sense. I want to try it. So it's a good deal. I charge that almost that per visit. You know, we just walk him out. It's a good deal. So. Um, all right. I think I am ready for you to ask me questions other than the schedule. So like I said before a couple times, so Bridge Mill, Monday, it's the exact same workshop you just did, so you don't need to do it. But if you have a friend, you can take one of those other flyers, and you can write down, this is when it's happening, give it to them, and have them show up. Cool? Makes sense? So you can see those three different locations. Um, Nate is one of my interns in my office, well-spoken guy, does a great job. He'll do a fantastic job. Dr. Levi, he was here earlier. He's the other chiropractor in my office. A lot of you guys know Dr. Levi. And then the 23rd, We'll be back with Foundations 2 at Health Sprout, not here, AC, hello. Um, and that's going to be at 7.15 as well that day. 